Hi, I'm Tina. I help experts turn their IP into certification and licensing programs. Today, I want to talk about how long does it take to create a certification program from scratch? There are five phases to building your certification program that I want to share with you in today's video. On average, it can take anywhere from 90 days through to nine months to create your certification, to have it ready to be out in the world. Now, how long that takes you will depend on a few different variables that I'll share with you in this video today. The very first phase, which is the same for everybody, is the strategy of your certification. You wanna take the time up front to get purposeful and look at all aspects of your certification. Now, I outlined this in a previous video, the nine step framework for creating a certification. You need to to make those key decisions in all of those areas because they become the foundation for all the work that needs to be done afterwards. Now, how long does this phase take? It can actually be pretty quick. When I work with people uh, to help design their strategy for their program, we do that in a one day format, right? We can have that created and done for you in one day, your, your strategy, your timeline, everything laid out for you. So that piece can actually happen pretty quickly, but it is the most essential piece of the entire process to be clear before you move on to anything else. The second phase is all about designing the learning experience, the curriculum, the facilitation, the training guides, the testing process. This is the real meat and potatoes of your program, if you will. And this is the phase where it might take you longer. It might not have to take you quite as long to work through this phase. And that will depend on a couple of things. It will depend on what type of certification program are you creating? which we determine in the first phase when we talk strategy. If you're creating a certification program, that's going to be a 90-day program. That's very different than a program that might be 12 months or even two years long as far as what's required and the amount of resources to be built. It also depends on how much existing materials do you have available that will be used in this program. How, many pro how much stuff from past offers, past trainings, different things you've done that exist already that are ready to use in your certification versus how many things need to be created from scratch. And again, when I work with my clients on the strategy, we very much lay out a timeline and a plan for this second phase, because frankly, it's the phase that takes the most amount of work, right? And it's also the phase where people will get stuck quite often, which I don't want to see. I want your certification to come to life. Uh, that's why I love working with people through this phase as well, too, just to make sure that we're moving through and getting kind of the, the harder work done, if you will, so that we can bring this program to life. And again, that might take a shorter amount of time, might take a longer amount of time, depending on your particular scenario. The next three phases, so four, three, four, and five phases of the program, these can happen concurrently. All of these phases actually can happen. They can, you can start working on all four of these phases together. First one, strategy, you got to do that piece first regardless. But the rest of them can actually happen concurrently. You can be working on them together. Uh, and that is we need the legal and the brand protection in place. We need to look at the operations of your program, the back end, the team, the tools, all of the things that are going to support this program being out in the world. And we need to look at the launch. How are you going to launch this program? How are you going to get it out into the world and enroll your first cohort? So again, these three phases, they might take you know, a, a month or two, maybe more. Your launch plan, for example, some of my clients have a very simple launch plan because they've already got a wait list of people who've been wanting their program, whereas you might need to do a more comprehensive launch, which could be could take a few months to, to set up and, and begin to offer. Likewise with legal, legal is always good to get the ball rolling as soon as possible. You know, even right after the strategy work we do together, I'll have my clients start working on legal right away so that those things are getting put in place as we're working on some of the LF, L the elephants? No, the elements of the program. And of course, the operations, the team, etc. That will, again, very much depend on who do you have in place already? What do you have in place already versus what may need to be created from scratch or who might need to be brought in specifically for this program? And so again, 90 days, I've had clients fast track. You know, and this is a thing. I actually like to move fast, so I can. I'm all for this when it makes sense for their particular situation. You can bring a program to life in 90 days 
if you've got a lot of things ready to go. Otherwise, chances are it's going to be at least maybe the six to nine month range. And so the earlier you can get the ball rolling on starting your certification, starting the strategy, starting to get everything laid out, the better. So if you're curious about next steps for creating your certification and or whether or not your business is ready to take the take these steps into certification, you can go ahead and check out my free quiz. The link is here with this video. It's the Ready, Set, Certify quiz, and it will tell you exactly whether you're ready to step into this model and what your next steps are along the way. All right, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye now.